Welcome to another Florida Real Estate Exam Math Prep video. Today we're going to be covering question number two in the Florida Real Estate Exam Math Prep Guide found at tampaschoolofrealestate.com. Look in the description for a link to this download. You'll be able to download it there, get access to all the same questions that we're working through in these videos. So let's take a look at this video's question. A duplex was purchased with a down payment of $15,000 and a loan of $59,000 at 5.5% interest for 30 years. Monthly payments are $604.88. What is the loan to value ratio? So it's always important to read through these questions carefully. And once you've read through the question carefully, your next step is to identify specifically what this question is asking for, which this is normally found in the very last line of the question as it is here. In this case, it is what is the loan to value ratio? That's our question. What is the loan to value ratio? That tells us exactly what this question is asking for. This may seem like it is something self-explanatory, but don't find yourself uh, on the losing side of this where you're just kind of reading through the question, skimming through it, and then you start seeing that there's an interest rate, there's a monthly payment amount, and there's a loan amount because those three pieces of information are what you need to amortize mortgage. You might see that in there and think you need to do amortization. Uh, no, that's not the case here. So pay close attention to what the question is specifically asking for. Can't stress that enough. So now once we have what the question is specifically asking for, we can think back and remember our loan to value ratio formula. Not a very difficult formula. This is just loan divided by value. So we're just going to look for our loan amount divided by the value, and that will give us our loan to value ratio. So going back into the problem now, we can look for these pieces of information. So we have our loan amount right away. You could spot that. It's $59,000 for the loan amount. But looking at this question here, we don't have a value for this question. This question is not specifically giving us the value of this property. So we're going to have to do essentially another step to figure that out. Now, we could go ahead and eliminate some information here and make this a little bit easier on us. So all this 5.5% interest, the 30-year term, the payment of $604.88, that's all irrelevant, distractor, extra information that they put in these questions, really just to kind of throw you off and find out if you really know what you're doing. So what we're left with is our $15,000 down payment and our $59,000 loan amount. Now you may remember to figure out the value of a property, you could just take your loan amount, which in this case would be $59,000, and add it to the down payment of $15,000 to figure out the value of the property. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can take our loan amount of $59,000, add that to our down payment of $15,000, and that will give us a total value of $74,000. So $74,000 is our total value of this property. Now that we have that, we can go back to our loan to value formula. We have the loan amount from the question, which was $59,000. And we're going to be dividing that by the value, which we just figured out as $74,000. When you do that calculation, you'll end up with 0.7972. Now, this is a correct answer here, but it's not in the format that the answer choices are. The answer choices are in forms of percentages rather than decimals, so we'll just have to go ahead and convert this decimal into a percent. To do that, we're just going to move this two decimal places to the right, and that now becomes 79.72%, and we're going to go ahead and just round up to 80%. So our total loan-to-value ratio for this question is going to be 80%. That's all for this question. For more exam prep tools, visit www.tampaschoolofrealestate.com. That's www.tampaschoolofrealestate.com.